At the time of the landing of the Apollo 11 on the moon, I really wanted to be an astronaut, and I dreamt of uh, you know, walking in space with some astronaut suit and looking from space to the Earth, like there was a world out there to discover. I work in theoretical physics, concretely in string theory. What I would like to do is to understand the structure of matter beyond atoms. So this theory can tell us something about the situation at the origin of the universe. The conformal blocks of the Ising but you don't have such a cool cell in the other cases. When I look back and I want to feel good about it, I think that I have uh, contributed to the understanding of the implications of a string theory for our four-dimensional world. Okay. Yeah, one is too attached. Science and education are basic for sustainable development of the human society, so I feel very proud to have devoted my career to these two activities. But I have tried all these years not to keep very active in, in research, but also to stay uh, committed to education, to teaching in my university, in Universidad Central, in Caracas, to contribute to educating the younger generations of scientists, not only in Venezuela, but also in Latin America. One thing that is close to my heart is that I would like that uh, the young people in my country have the same opportunities that I had. I had good public high schools, I had excellent public university, and sadly these conditions are not there at the moment. So, yes, this, I would like uh, young people to have these opportunities and of course in Venezuela, but also uh, everywhere uh, in the world. <laughs>